For reasons that will become clear as we move along in this course, the slope of an indifference curve will be of huge importance. So given well-behaved preferences and an indifference curve represented by the equation x2 is equal to f of x1, the slope of the indifference curve at x1, x2, if it exists, will be called the marginal rate of substitution of good 2 for good 1, abbreviated MRS. If it's clear that we have x2 on the y-axis and x1 on the x-axis, then we will simply call it the marginal rate of substitution, or MRS. MRS is formally defined as the derivative dx2 dx1 or f prime x1. Since the indifference curve may have a kink, we cannot be certain that MRS exists. However, if f is smooth, then MRS will always exist. Here is an indifference curve and an arbitrary bundle on the indifference curve. The blue line is the tangent to the indifference curve at x1, x2, and the slope of this tangent is the MRS. Keep in mind that MRS varies along the indifference curve, making it a function of x1 and x2. Here is a simple example. I have a given bundle with 8 units of the first good and 2 units of the second good. Say that the indifference curve for this bundle has equation x2 is equal to 16 divided by x1 f prime x1 is equal to minus 16 divided by x1 squared. Plug in x1 equal to 8 and we find that MRS is equal to negative 1 over 4 at this point. This is the slope of the blue line. Let's look at the interpretation of MRS. This interpretation is kind of super important so make sure that you understand this slide. Here is again a bundle, the indifference curve for the bundle, the tangent of the indifference curve through the bundle, and the slope of this tangent is what we call MRS. MRS is by definition equal to dx2 dx1, the derivative of x2 with respect to x1, where my indifference curve is the graph of the function x2 as a function of x1. Let's pick another bundle on the indifference curve close to the first one. The second point really should be closer to the first one, but I need to draw it like this in order not to mess up the graph too much. As you can see, we have increased consumption of good 1 by an amount that we denote by delta x1. We have decreased consumption of good 2, and therefore delta x2 is negative. Delta x2 itself measures the increase in consumption of good 2. Let's draw a nice red straight line through these two bundles. So what is the slope of this red line? Well, we have the answer from basic calculus. The slope of a straight line is always equal to the change in the variable on the y-axis divided by the change in the variable on the x-axis, or delta x2 divided by delta x1. Now here's the main point. As long as my second bundle is fairly close to the first bundle, and as long as my indifference curve is fairly smooth, the slope of the red line will be approximately equal to the slope of the blue line. Therefore, MRS will be approximately equal to delta x2 over delta x1. This is very important and it will provide us with an interpretation of MRS. So let's say that MRS, the slope of the blue line, is equal to minus 4 at our starting bundle, and delta x1 is 0.01 units. I increase my consumption of good 1 by 0.01 units. How much must I then decrease my consumption of good 2 if I want to stay on the indifference curve? Well, if I decrease my consumption of good 2 by 4 times as much, or by 0.04, then my new bundle will end up on the blue line. But since the blue line and the red line are approximately the same, this means that my new bundle is almost on the indifference curve. As you can see from the picture, x2 should be reduced by a slightly smaller amount than 0.04. This is the reason for the name rate of substitution. The absolute value of MRS will tell us how much I need to give up of good 2 if I want to increase consumption of good 1 while remaining on the indifference curve. I am making a substitution which makes me equally happy. If MRS is minus 2, then the consumer is willing to give up 2 units of good 2 for each additional unit of good 1. 
But you can also say that if MRS is minus two, then the consumer requires two units of good two to give up one unit of good one. No matter how you cut it, the rate of substitution between the goods is two to one. If a consumer is willing to give up two units of good one for one additional unit of good two, then MRS is minus 0.5. Half a unit of good two for one unit of good one. The reason we call it marginal rate of substitution is due to the fact that MRS is only the rate of substitution at the margin. That is, it's only the rate of substitution for very small changes. So let's say this one more time. MRS, including its sign, is the approximate increase in x2 or delta x2 that will be necessary if we want to stay on the indifference curve when we increase x1 by a small amount delta x1. If preferences are strictly monotonic, then MRS is always negative. This means that a negative increase in x2 is required, and mathematically this is the same thing as a decrease in x2. So MRS is approximately equal to delta x2 over delta x1 for two bundles on an indifference curve. Let's look at an example to see how close this approximation is. Let's start with the bundle 8,2 and an indifference curve given by x2 is equal to 16 divided by x1. As we have seen earlier, MRS at this point is equal to minus 1 over 4. This means that the consumer is willing to substitute the goods at this ratio, a quarter unit of good 2 for one unit of good 1, or if you like, one unit of good 2 for four units of good 1. This means that the consumer, at the margin, is willing to give up delta x1 divided by four units of good 1 in order to receive delta x1 units of good 1. Let's make delta x1 equal to 0.04. We increase x1 from 8 to 8.04, and we decrease x2 by a fourth of this amount, or 0.01, and take it down to 1.99. This new bundle will be on the blue tangent and very close to the indifference curve. If we plug in 8.04 into the function describing the indifference curve, then we get x2 is equal to 16 divided by 8.04, which is equal to 1.99005. This bundle is exactly on the indifference curve, and we can see how close our approximation 8.04, 1.99 is to this bundle.